In this lesson, we are going to show you how to use services and service bundles. So services are used for recurring revenue and you can choose certain period types. So you can choose, for example, if something should be monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or annually recurring. And it's really important to correct the correct material codes or bidding codes. We already created those at the steps before. So there are a few things that we should take into account. First, let's go to the services page. So we can go to the services page by going to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and going to admin right here and clicking on it. In admin, we can go to the product services and inventory tab right here and clicking on the plus sign to expand it. And we can click on services right here. So before you will create services, what you have to take into account is that if you're working together with a partner with an API, with Autotask, you have to check their instructions first before you create these services, because some partners will just have very specific instructions on how to make these services or how to name them, for example. And it'll be a shame if you first create all of the different kind of services and you have to do it all over again because something wasn't right or something was made incorrectly and uh, the API won't work because of that. So just um, just make sure to check it with the, with the partner you are working with. So as you can see, we have a few services right here and we can just click on it to in a little bit more detail. As you can see right here, I can just click on the name and it'll open the edit services screen. So as you can see, the name is entered right here. You can give it a description. The description is just something to expand a little bit of give a little bit more detail about what these services does. And the invoice description is displayed on the invoice. So you might want to give a few notes so the customer knows what kind of services this is and why they're getting invoiced. You can also make sure you link it to a service level agreement. As you can see, we've made a few service level agreements and you can just select one which should be linked to this service. You will probably have the vendor in Autotask as a vendor account. So you can select it right here by clicking the selector icon or just typing the name right here. And right here at the bottom in the billing uh, category, we can just put in what the costs are per unit, what the price should be per unit. And even if you don't know something, you can just put in the cost and the markup percentage and it'll calculate the price automatically. Okay, as you can see, there are certain period types. You can't edit a period type after you've made a service. So be sure to just pick the right one from the start. And as I've said before, it's really important to just choose the right service code. So you can do that by clicking on the selector icon right here, or you can start with typing in the name. As you can see, we've just linked it to monitoring services. But well, let's show you when we make a new service. I will just close this, this tab. And by clicking on the new button right here, we can just make a new service. And like I said, for the uh, service code, you can just put in your, or click your mouse right here and it'll show the service code you are, have in your system, or you can just press the selector right here. Uh, if you have multiple uh, service codes, so you can just easily search for them by just clicking here with your mouse and typing in the, the uh, service code you want to find. And you can also filter them by active or, or not active. Okay, well, after you've done that, you can, for example, I can just select it and it'll go right there. After you've filled everything in correctly or after you filled in everything correctly, you can just click save right here and it'll save the service. As you can see, there is no search fields right here. So if you want to search services, because in a while you probably have a lot and uh, they won't fit all in one page, what you can do is you can click on this button right here, which is view price list. And when you click on the button, you will go to the price list, as you can see. And in the price list, you can just search for everything you want to search for connected to products, services, service bundles, or material codes. If you want to filter something, you can just filter here. If, for example, I only want to search service bundles, I can just click on this. It'll filter itself, as you can see. 
You can also filter on period type if you want to filter on that. And what's also possible is just to type something in. It'll search right here, as you can see. So yeah, that's services in a nutshell. It's pretty easy working from the price list because you just get one overview uh, for all products, services, service bundles, etc. So it's also just really easy to make a service or a product or a service bundle from this page. You can go to the new icon right here. And if you go to this arrow, you can just select what you want to add. So for example, if I want to add a product or add a service or add a service bundle, it's possible from here. I can just click on service, for example. And as you can see, we get the same screen we just got on the services page. So that's um, services in a nutshell. Well, for service bundles, the name is pretty self-explanatory, but yeah, it's just, you can bundle a bunch of services. So if I go here to the arrow right here and click on service bundle, I can make a service bundle. So I can give it a name. I can just give it a name, a description, and an invoice description, the same as with services. And you can also just select a period type, for example, monthly or quarterly. For service bundles, it's also important to select the correct service code. So you can just click on the selector right here and you can select the correct service code. Underneath here, with the services heading, you can just click on this selector right here. And you can select the services you want to bundle. So for example, maybe I want to offer a managed rec workspace. I can just add desktop monitoring. I can add a hosted email, for example. I can add PC support. I can just save them right here. And as you can see, those three services are added. And if you see the unit cost and unit price, as you can see, I can select here, use some of selected service unit prices. So it's $50 for this service and $10 for this service. So together it'll be $60. Or I can just set my own price if I want to, and I can just select use other price here. And for example, I don't want to offer it for uh, $60. I want to offer it, offer it for 75. I can just enter 75 right there and it'll uh, charge $75 or I can just select use some of selected service unit prices. It's also possible to give a discount for these bundles. So I can just give a discount in a dollar amount or I can give a discount in a percentage amount. It's just, it's up to you. It's not necessary, but you might want to give a discount for certain service bundles. And um, as you can see right here, the service bundles Extended price is right here. So it's $60 per service bundle, which will be taxed to the customer. So when you filled in everything correctly, you can just hit save and close right here and it'll save the service bundle. I'm not going to do that right now, but you should definitely hit save and close. One if important thing to note about service bundles is that if you use certain kind of services, for example, Office 365 licenses, and you want to synchronize them through an API, it might not be possible to use a service bundle. You should check with the partner through which you are purchasing the 365 licenses to see what's possible and what kind of API calls you can make and how you should make them. So to recap, the services are used for a single service. So for example, a single license and the bundles are very useful if you want to define a service, for example, a complete workspace for a user, and you want to put in or combine different kinds of services into a bundle so you can just offer more value to your customer.